All right, so I'm leaving the solar panel where I've always had it, which is just uh, in the center of the front part of the Bimini. What's going on, people? Man, well, it's been a long, long winter. So you guys remember, last year I bought my first boat, SV Artemis. 1985 Catalina 30 tall rig. It's been a long, long winter with a lot of boat projects, but man, did we have some fun. Anyway, it's time to start enjoying the water. Now, don't worry, we're not going to lose focus on this channel. I just want to tell you that it's time for season three, time to start moving forward with a lot more fun on the water. But we do still have a ton of boat projects coming at you. So if you're new to sailing or want to just follow me on my adventures, I implore you to smash that like and subscribe. And man, I hope you guys really enjoy these videos. What's going on, guys? <clears throat> so I've had my solar panel butchered for quite some time. Basically tied up here and um, not fully mounted to the boat. Yeah, I just left everything dangling because um, I just didn't know how I want to do it. But today, I'm going to go ahead and officially install it. Uh, I'm going to be putting my panel, my controller I should say, right here uh, next to this one. That should still allow my uh, binoculars to fit. There's going to be one hole going in and I'm going to be adding quick connects to um, the actual install so I can just leave it and not have to worry um, when I'm plugged into shore power, etc. That's why to this date I haven't fully installed it because I'm always on shore power and now we're going to start cruising a bit more and I just don't want it laying around being all sloppy. So basically uh, I'm going to be doing one hole in the side and we bring my wires down and both of these batteries are in series right now so I gotta go one negative one positive. I'm going to bring it up to right here uh, there's going to be a quick connect and it's going to go ahead and it's going to go through up into the controller and I'm still not going to be uh, bringing the panel officially through the boat because I just I'm not going to be using it all that much until I start cruising and once I start cruising then I'll do a more of a, a permanent install but for right now I'll still be taking the panel on and off uh, depending on the weekend and placing it down here it's just a um, 100 watt Renergy flexible panel. Ideally, when I start cruising, I'd like to have two of them up here so we can, you know, have them permanently affixed or snapped on. I can put some snaps in. But for right now, I'm going to keep it still up on the Bimini and just have the wire run in to the controller, which will be right here. Like I said, normally I just leave the controller here. I have the wire going in, leave this open. And that's why you've never seen it on video because it's sloppy and I don't like sloppy. So we're going to make this nice and neat today. So obviously this needs to be cleaned out. So we have nothing in here. This is where I keep my paper towels, my pots and pans, more paper towels. Uh, let's see, tools. Cool little tool kit that came with the boat. Older than dirt, it works. And then my cooking stuff. So I'm taking all that out. Now this antenna stays in. She is a pain to get out because of the other holes that were drilled in there. So don't actually have to take it out, just to put it up. And now I've got access to both batteries. And this process really shouldn't take very long. Um, should be, I don't know, 30, 35 minutes to do this. I brought down new power cord and my hot knife so I could get better cords up there. To lash it as well so and basically how I lash it sorry for the noise right there um, basically how I lash it is it lays on the top and it has there's the panel you can see it's got six holes on either side power cord goes through there uh, it was all fringed out uh, I'll show that to you in a minute and I'm just gonna do nice ones bowlins and then they come down I do a slip knot underneath and then when I want to take it off under the slip knot take the panel and put it down under here Hey, we're back. So, first things first, that's my hot knife. I actually use this um, for my other company. We sell pull-up cords, which we use to pack parachutes. So I have a, have a pretty decent one. But back to solar. So I have these wires. Um, they've been on the boat for a bit. I've had them connected. The, the ends, let's see if I can straighten them a little bit, come pre-cut, but I've been crimping them and uncrimping them. So they're a little messy. Either way, if you look at the back of your controller, you're going to see right here it's going to say battery which is right there and then solar 
So the battery terminal is positive and negative. Very simple, just go right to there. But first we have to drill a hole and I'm gonna wanna um, just temporarily put this up to see where I want it. And I'm gonna do my hole and then reconnect these to the batteries. Now these generally come on and off depending on if I'm using solar. So if we go over to Croton for a day or an afternoon, I'll connect the panel. I just run the wires right through here and time to it and put the panel up so we can keep the radio and everything going for the entire day. Um, problem with this boat right now, and I still haven't fixed it, is even though that I have a battery selector, both of these batteries were uh, tied together. Uh, and I, I just need to run new cables out to the starter and I can isolate from there. Um, matter of fact, here they are. We have them zip tied back there. So let me get this connected and through and we'll be right back. All right, so I temporarily wanted to put the controller where I want it. So I just drilled two puddles, threw two screws in real quick. That way I can see where I want my uh, wiring to come out. And I'm thinking, because I still want to keep that there, which I probably should get a smaller pair. I'm thinking I'm gonna put the hole basically right here, which would bring me right up underneath. So if I do it like right here, I can get the wires right in and out and we're good to go. So I drilled a hole right there and these are the leads for the controller and these are the leads for the batteries. Now I need to hook these up real quick and then uh, yeah then we can connect that to the controller and we can see the amperage in the batteries. So one other thing I wanted to do because again we don't leave this system on all the time uh, I don't want to get the um, batteries overcharging if we're in the marina is I bought male and female connectors. So I'm going to be cutting both of these roughly here and I'm going to be putting connectors on quick connects. I went, these aren't the ones I wanted, I really wanted Andersons but um, I'm going to get those eventually and it'll just be a quick little you know, setup. Nothing too difficult once I get those just from splice. Alright, so we have our negative lead connected. We don't have to cut this one in half because it's a negative. So we're only going to do that on the, pa on the positive side. So negative to the back battery, positive to the front battery until I get this resolved. And then I will just keep poly solar on my house bank um, rather than having it on both. Um, I might even put a third battery in just for starting and leave this as my house bank. But all right, so again, the negative one's done and that's through over to the controller. So my positive terminal or lead is right here. And this is just a quick connect so I can disconnect this when wanted and she'll sit like right here whenever I want to pull it apart just pull it apart until I get my actual Anderson which will have both leads connected but this might even just be fine I might just leave this all right now we have the positive lead connected and now we can go upstairs put the cover back on go up top not up top but up here and uh, get everything connected and connected to the controller box all right, so before you hook it up to your, your controller, make sure that these are disconnected. You don't want to put in live power to it. So these are now disconnected. I'm gonna go ahead and tie these ends into the controller, then pull all the wires back, straighten up these ends, yada yada. All right, real quick, I do put a split on these wires. Uh, it makes them go into the block a little bit easier. And I can't hold the camera when I put it into the block, but if you give the wire end just a little split and a twist, she'll fit right into the block. So again, if you look on the bottom, you'll see battery, positive, negative, positive, negative. How I know this is positive and negative is I have my positive disconnected. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect this real quick and then we'll show you the controller. All right, quick connects done. Come up here to the controller and we can see what's going on. So zero volts, but that is a lie. Hold on. Uh, doo -doo -doo. All right, I have 13.4 volts in my battery as we speak. So that's pretty awesome, you can see that. Now I just gotta get the solar panel side hooked up and then we'll start charging just off of the, uh, the panel. Oh, and it's 25 degrees Celsius, we don't want that. We're gonna change that to volts. Uh, how do we change that, I forget. Settings, there we go, 77 degrees Fahrenheit. It feels a lot hotter in here. All right, let me get working on the other aspect. All right, so these are the ends that go into the solar panel. The problem I had is the um, this end go, has to be into the controller, but I don't want to leave it plugged in. So 
I'm going to cut the tail here now, and I'm going to use those quick connects. Now, when I get the Anderson connector, this will be taped together real nice, and I can just basically, and I'm done. I'm not happy I have to use the yellow ones, but they'll do for right now. So, just trim the end, take the connector, slide the connector on. Again, this is very, very temporary. Um, I plan on putting in the correct Anderson connector. But this will work for the weekend because we are spending the entire night out there. Give it a good pull. Now I'm only going to tape one end, one side of these ends, I should say, um, because I want to make sure that I know what's negative and what's positive. Very important, people. So I, I left the tailpiece. This is what will be connected to the controller at about, I don't know, I'd say 11 inches, maybe 10. Uh, just so I can actually get to it. And again, I will be cutting this back even more when the Anderson connector comes in and it'll be much cleaner, much nicer, but this is going to be the positive side. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect this now to the positive side on the block. So you just come here, you read the bottom, it says solar, positive. This is the positive side. We're gonna undo the block real quick. Bring it up almost all the way. Maybe one corner turn back down in. That way it holds. This has got to bend this way, so I'm just going to go ahead and oop, don't like that. That should fit now. Don't like that. Squeeze it a little together. And in your home. And then you just keep it pressed, obviously. And then you deal with the shakes because you drank too many Coronas. Over the last week, crimper down, positive is now connected. I'm going to go ahead and repeat what I just did for the negative. All right, before we tuck everything away, I'm going to go ahead and connect to the panel, make sure I'm getting voltage in. Something else to remember, positive has the red washer. So this is how we know it's working. We can see the charger going up, We're taking in 14.1 volts. 77 degrees, sorry, I'm moving around here. If we come down to the battery, we got 14.2 volts. Nothing shown for kilowatt yet, and I'm drawing 0.2 amps. Let's see if we can. Oh, we're going all over, 18 volts in. Let's see. Gel. Oh, I gotta set this. Flood. Select. Gel. Flooded. There we go. Now we have flooded batteries. Good. It's set to flooded. Yeah, 14.4 volts in. I'm not mad. And we are charging. So I'm gonna go ahead and bolt this all up and make sure I make sure the wires are, are correctly labeled. And, um, yeah, pretty neat. All right, so this is the final install. I've got my positive, negative. Negative's got the tape there. I'm going to put white on the positive later. All i got to do now is put the panel up top, drop the wires down while I'm out, and I can start charging while I'm underway. Not a bad location on the Catalina 30. Um, I guess that's really all up to you. All right, so I'm leaving the solar panel where I've always had it, which is just uh, in the center of the front part of the bimini. Um, we'll just have knots tied, which I'll do better. That's not a real knot. And it comes down, and then we tie to the bimini here, and then I'll probably bring one all the way back to tie underneath. Um, but I'll show you that in a second. But I'm going to be using my hot knife to cut all this. So hot knives are fun. Just basically take your shit and melt and you're done. All right, you don't need to see the rest of that. Okay, so I'm just using paracord uh, tied to the actual bimini. We're not gonna leave this out, but you know, these are just sloppy knots because I was testing it and that's it. And when I wanna hook it up, just click, click and we're good. And this is how it's always been up here. Um, just it was a lot sloppier job i didn't like it had to redo this but what a great kit i loved it so much i'm actually starting to use it for work the same kit um 
and hopefully I'll be able to keep all my emergency assets going. But yeah, this thing's pretty cool. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, let me know. I'll put the part number in the bottom of the video. And if you don't mind, hammer that like and subscribe button. Come on, it would mean the world to me.